porn star medical secrets. As I've taken care of a number of real professional porn stars over the last 20 years as a doctor, and more recently, I've taken care of more and more men that are swingers. This is just something that I'm seeing more and more, and what are their medical secrets, why they've come to me to get evaluated, not just testosterone and steroids, so I wanna give this information strictly to you guys in the world to learn something. Because yeah, these are porn stars, but if you wanna look at the best drivers in the world, you look at NASCAR and professional race car drivers, isn't it cool to like learn what they do? And the top experts in any field, well, these are the top sex experts in the world, hands down. So what do they do to keep up? Here we go. I've broken it down into three discrete categories, hormone relationships, vascular blood flow, and then brain CNS. Let's get right up to the top. So back in the day, porn star guys, this is, again, this is for men, not women. Women, whole different thing, but there are some similarities. Back in the day, porn stars were much more natty than they are today. Today, I've consulted with these guys. There's definitely more guys on androgens this day and age because there's more people are on steroids and testosterone. Let's talk about that. When a male porn star gets on androgens, testosterone or steroids, and even SARMs, his testicles get shut off, right? So now they've told me, Doc, you're a porn star. You're, you got little testicles. Mm, that's a tough deal. But even worse is the cum shot, right? So the ejaculation, when you're on testosterone, just testosterone, not to mention steroids long enough, the ejaculation goes down because the hypothalamus pituitary gonad axis gets affected and the ejaculation goes down. Sex can be great. Your libido, the CNS effects are great, but your testicles are getting shut down. So what do these guys use? If you're watching this video, I'm sure you're concerned for your testosterone levels. In addition to testosterone, you want to check sexual binding globulin, estradiol, free androgen index, and potentially cortisol. That's what I want to talk about today's sponsor. Let's get checked. They're a worldwide leader in at-home test kits, so you can get a comprehensive look at your testosterone levels and other labs without even leaving your home. You can order a test kit that will be delivered to you in discrete packaging. Once your sample arrives in the laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five business days. These results are reviewed by a clinician and a member of the Let's Get Checked nursing team may call you to review your results. Let's Get Checked laboratories are CLIA approved and CAP accredited, which are the highest ranking levels of accreditation for labs. So if you want to test your hormone levels without having to leave your home, visit TryLGC Dot com. What do these guys use? What have they used to combat the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis, HCG? That's the cum shot, guys. What else is the cum shot? They also throw in different serums, typically Clomid. This even goes back 20 years ago. But I tell you, they're using this stuff more and more. This is why the guys come to me. They're wondering what to do, and they know this already. Also, for the cum shot, it's fake. Guys, don't tell anyone about that. Keep it down just between me and you guys. It's fake. It's a hose. It's a hose, they tell me. So I don't know about this stuff. You guys give me comments on this if you know about that. Back to the shrunken testicles for a porn star. That's like, that's like a NASCAR guy driving drunk on the field out there in the track and driving with flat tires. That's not going to work. So... What else do these guys do beyond the HCG? And it doesn't always work, right? The HCG can make it even more shut down. 
they use a lot of other pads. But this is more just a list of pads I want to give that I know that they've told me they use because there's just more pads out there. And these are younger guys now, and they're involved with chemistry and pads, right? A lot of these guys are fan, love you guys, of the Anabolic Dog channel for the chemistry, the real chemistry. They've, they've done clenbuterol, but they say they don't like it. Clen shakes, not good when you're on sex scene. Thyroid preps, not really. Insulin and other pads because some of these guys are bodybuilder-ish. Look at the bodies on some of these young porn stars. They're on steroids. They get involved. They realize that they don't want heavy-duty steroids like Anadrol. I just want to bench big. Boom. That's all I want to do. But these guys don't want to bench big. They want to have great sex scenes. They want to be porn stars. They are porn stars. So they don't care about Anadrol and D-ball like I used to and just getting big and strong. They just want to have great hard muscles so they don't use those estrogenic big monster drugs, right? But they do run some trend because it's a sex drive, but then you get into this problem shutdown as we talked about the atrophy testicles and the brain. These guys, if they have ED, that's definitely going to be a killer. That's a business killer. They're fired. So they also use weight loss medicines. Focus on this, guys, GLP-1 agonist. I'll have a whole bunch of videos for that on the app. So metformin a little bit. Human growth hormone, no question if they could afford it and they can get, they can get it. Other peptides, CJC and all these different peptides falls under SARMs and all this stuff. It's not SARMs, but you get it in the peptide sites. Cabergoline, cabergoline, we'll talk about that down here in the CNS. This is, uh, this is dopaminergic central nervous system stuff with getting refractory, having, you know, refractory period is after you have sex and you ejaculate, what's the time between you could have it again? You know, young guys classically can just go within another hour, even 20 minutes. You get older, refractory period goes long, right? Caber is a big piece of this, right? It's craziness, guys. It's amazing that this is all science. PT-141, melatonin-2, these are sex drugs, right? So injectable drugs work on the brain again, increase spontaneous erections. These guys have done all this stuff. But a lot of this stuff backfires because they feel horrible, they, they flush, they may look terrible, they're sick feeling, and the erections are all over the place. So very complex. So that's the hormone side. Next, vascular. This is huge right here. Vascular, PD-5 inhibitors, phosphodiesterase number five, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, Stendra. This is the money back in the 90s. We realized that you're, you're to have great erections and sex. You need the hormones, the brain, the CNS, and you need blood flow. That erection is all blood flow. So these medicines increase nitric oxide into the corpus cavernosum, and they, they make the erection better, or they give you an erection, but they make it better and long-lasting. So this is a billion-dollar, trillion-dollar business over 20 years, right? So Viagra, Cialis, now, when I go into this, I'm going to give you some secrets here, guys. But again, on the app, I'm going to give even more direct access. And I'm going to tell you the exact drugs and doses. I can't do it here. YouTube, it's not cool here for YouTube. So I have to have a private medium, anabolicdocapp.com. Get on it. Learn my secrets. Access me to, in the group meetings and all the great stuff we have on the Anabolic Doc app. That's why I did it. So blood flow. When, when some of these porn stars are getting older, some of the old porn stars are great, man. Guys my age, these are the masters, right? So they have hypertension. Blood pressure goes up. Guy realizes he's got to treat that. So the doctor gives him, say, a beta blocker, right? Or, or a diuretic. Just It's not a great medicine. That's a whole other story. It's not probably a great medicine first line. But the doc doesn't know any better. Maybe he's got some other issues or heart disease. Boom, takes metopolol, atenolol, maybe some diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide. That could be a good drug for the guy, but causes erectile dysfunction. So there's been secrets where these guys go on nabivalol. That's a secret right there. You want to talk to your doctor about that. ACE, ARB, telmasartan. Again, this is just a teaser. More on the app where I'm going to give absolute the indications and more specific information about the drugs itself. Just can't do it here. Next, in the vasculature, in the blood flow, Trimix. 
vascular. You're, it's a vasodilator locally. Everyone knows that. That's extreme stuff that you're injecting into, right into your penis. It's extreme stuff, guys. Men that, that are older, have, after prostate cancer, where they remove the prostate, uh, prostatectomy or after a, a vascular disease and bypass surgery, just getting older, men that are diabetics and things, th these PD-5 inhibitors, man, they just don't always work on guys. You know, it's kind of too late, so they have to do this. Again, life is humbling, guys. This is a humble stuff here. So Muse, it's a prostaglandin E1 uh, medicine. It's similar to the vasodilators and Trimix. There's three drugs in that, obviously. Urethral insert right into the urethra at the tip. It's, it's softer than the injection into the side of the penis, and it vasodilates, guys. Now, these guys use this with this together. Beware of that. Be careful with that. Priapism, that's that erection for four hours. It's too, you can't, it, was, it doesn't go away. It could really damage your penis. You have to go to the ER, and they have to open that up, and they have to drain that. I've seen it only a handful of times, guys. Priapism. Very careful can happen from these drugs when you're interacting with different drugs. You got to be careful. All right, we did the hormone, we did the vascular. Let's do the brain, the CNS. Right off the top, you got testosterone, makes guys horny, makes men horny. That's why they do it. But right in here, I have trend also up top here. This is an overlap, obviously, where hormonal aspect, but it's hitting the brain. You're horny. So a lot of these young porn stars just, and swingers and just and just regular guys like me and you guys that just want to have great sex with your wife or your partner. Or maybe you're gay, you have a partner, you just want to have great sex. Who cares? People want to have sex. Don't tell anyone. That's a secret, guys. I know it's, we don't want to talk about that very much. So you look at this, you look at, you're, you're horny, you're on testosterone, did you need it, is it great? Now you're up and down, right? So these guys come to me, they're up and down, they've done trend, they were phenomenal for a few weeks. Now they are now they have trend deck or deca deck and now they come to me, I have to hit a reset button. Hit that reset button and that's man per man, that's just what I do for 20 years. So this is a secret, this is premature ejaculation. Again, like ED, if you're a porn star or you want to be successful or happy in sex, if you have premature ejaculation and you're a man, you're, that's not good, guys. <clears throat> First way to, to work on that is behavior. There's behavioral therapy. I want to make all the sex therapists proud. I'm not just going to the drugs right now. We got to talk about behavior, okay? So premature ejaculation. But let's, let's move on beyond the behavior. You do the best you can with edging and holding and you work on the positions and all this kind of stuff. And then, so this is a huge medical secret that so many men are not aware of, that we have medicines. They're a class of antidepressants, serotonin-specific reuptake inhibitors called Zoloft and Paxil depoxetine outside the United States. These medicines were using a, a profile, a side effect profile, that it affects the ejaculation where men will be able to hold longer. For a lot of men, it's annoying, right? They take these medicines and it affects the libido, obviously, to some degree, but they have depression and anxiety. They have to make a decision on is it balanced and what's the dose, and that's what I do all day with guys. And then they make a decision if they use these meds in different doses, does it make it so they can ejaculate, they can't come, they can't reach orgasm. But for a man that's got premature ejaculation, this is a miracle. So guys, look into this, research it on the internet, and see your doctors about that. Next, in addition to this CNS stuff, I have to go into apomorphine and CABR, and uh, some then the, the, these drugs, M MDMA and GHB. So apomorphine and CABR are dopaminergic agonists. We know the dopaminergic system in the sex part of the brain, very complicated, guys. I'm definitely not, I work from the chin down. I'm an internist, but I know about this stuff and you can read into this. So when you use these stimulators, it affects sexual behavior and it has a side effect, hypersexual behavior, hypersexual. So that's why they're using it up here, through CABR. And it's not just guys that have Decadic and Nor19 drugs and Tren and Trendic. It's just even porn stars and men will use apomorphine. You can read about this. There's combination drugs with this. But again, guys, the side effect profiles in these are pretty extreme. Nausea, vomiting, 
It can make guys just manic. This is a dangerous one. If you have bipolar depression, and that's mania. And if you're manic, because this is this kind of side effect profile that's dangerous for that, you got to be careful. It's technically used for prolactinomas and for Parkinson's disease, cabergoline. Next, lastly, the M MDMA, GHP. These are these rave party drugs, man. So they make people like ch super chill and really social. They take inhibitions down, and obviously people say they feel phenomenal. It's ecstasy, man. And they, they're hypersexual, too, and they just chill. And there's studies in Europe where more women use it because they want to have group sex and they just want to like not worry about it, man. And they just want to be open. And again, guys, there's no hate. There's no, I don't, there's, there's no judgment zone here for me. It is what it is. But these are the drugs that are used. And it's not just porn star. This is just what you want to take out of this. So I hope this helped this presentation was really dynamic and more entertaining for you guys. And I hope that every piece here from the hormonal <clears throat> to the vascular, the blood flow, the blood pressure, the cholesterol, the diabetes, the, the real diseases that lead to, to vascular issues, the heart attacks, the strokes, and it, it affects before the heart, your penis. It all goes together. If you have heart disease and diabetes, your penis is going to get affected probably first. Again, this is, this is well known. This is 101. This is like medicine 101 stuff. And then the CNS you know, with depression and anxiety and using these medicines for off-label uses that you might not know of, this is more extreme stuff. Stay away from this stuff, I think. That's very extreme. But this is great stuff here. And TRT, if you need it, obviously, stay away from trend, in my opinion. But it is what it is, guys. So we have to get comments. This channel is here for education, open, legitimate education from what I bring to you and then what you guys run with, with your comments. And this is why this channel is growing so well. It's such great karma. It's open education so men can make their own decisions about androgens, not to mention about this stuff. <sighs> I really hope this helps you guys. Thank you so much.